that is a bright green shirt. It is. Is that kind of like your official color? Yeah. To let people know who you are? Green. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you come up with the name Beyond the Front Porch? Um, you know what? It was funny because me and my sons, well, sons and my daughter, we were sitting around the table trying to think of a name and we wrote a long list. We was we just was name plan. Brainstorming. Yeah, just just mm -hmm. brainstorming what did we want to call this. Right. And I don't know how we arrived at Beyond the Front Porch, but once we got there, that was it. it that was it. And then, of course, we connected the dots with, well, I did, because they don't know anything about this. You know, right. when children are little, they don't know all the background. But back in the day, don't you take your butt off this front porch. <laughs> you know, that, that was what we yeah. used to say back yeah. in the day. Don't you take your butt yeah. off this front porch. You better, if you do anything, but you better do it on this porch. <laughs> you know? And so your goal is to take their butts off, off the, the front, front porch. porch. Right, right, right. Beyond the front porch. So once we got to beyond the front porch, it was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. That's where everything is going to stick because, you know, we want them to go beyond the yeah. front. So it's so funny because I have a lot of people that ask me, um, well, you know, you go take them to the library. You got to take them. You know, yeah. And I'm like, okay, beyond yeah. the front porch. Yeah, y'all can go down the street any day of the week. Yeah. So our job is beyond right, the right. front porch. And we're going to learn more about beyond the front porch. You're watching Servings Kitchen with a Cause. This is Casia. My guest today, Beyond the Front Porch, and uh, she has no idea what we're cooking today, right? Right. You have no idea. Mm -mm. All right. So the whole thing here is we're going to learn about Beyond the Front Porch, and we're going to cook at the same time. Okay. So right now we're going to learn what we're cooking. Are you ready for this? <laughs> You're a, you're a big time chef, right? I am the best experienced chef you have ever seen. Not. <laughs> so not. So, so this is going right. to be hilarious okay. for me. These recipes are not too hard. So I'm going to show you what we have. We have our ingredients cloaked underneath what we call the beach towel of deception. Mm -hmm. So you have no idea. All right, so here we go. Oh we're my show gosh. You what it is. <laughs> And you're going to try to guess what we're cooking. There we go. What do you think? I mean, are we, are we really going to... What are we going to do with this? I'll give, you, I'll give you a hint. This is two recipes. One of them you We going to fry guess. something? Are we really going to fry something? Sort of. <laughs> That's funny. We got real vegetables. They're not we even do. in a bag. We to do not have steamables. any cans, no you frozen vegetables. Heard of steamables, you know. Yes. Just throw it in the microwave. I've used steamables. <laughs> I love steamables. Today we're doing it legit. Yeah, the pork it's chops. It's going to be good. Anything chops. with bacon is good. Yes. All right, so I'll, I'll let you off the hook here. What we're cooking today is beyond the front pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> that is awesome! And the second recipe is something I have never cooked before. Creamed corn from scratch. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's hilarious. So we're going to reset, we're going to get ready to start our first recipe, the Beyond the Front Pork Chops. All right, so we are ready to cook the... Beyond the Front Porch Chops. Yes. <laughs> Woo. I'm excited about That's that. That's the best name oh, so far for this show, I'm that telling is, you. I'm that telling is. you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to dredge them and then sear them, but we're going to finish the cooking in the oven. Okay. So that's a little bit healthier. We're not frying and we're not going to keep them in the oil. Yay! Yeah, so I've got my pan heating up over here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little vegetable oil. And I like the way you said that we're, we're going to dredge them. That's right. Sounds like we're, we're really going to do some work. Official. Yeah. Like that's right. real cooking. Exactly. We're not messing around. Okay, so what we want to do to get a proper dredge so that our last thing we put it in sticks, 
we're going to use flour okay. right here, all-purpose flour. And we're going to put a layer down here. And if you want, you can kind of break it up a little bit. It's okay. got some clumps, so just use your fingers and break them up there. And then in the center bowl, uh -huh. after we put it in the flour, we're going to... Oh, we got brown eggs. We got brown eggs. Uh, we're not playing around with it. Yeah, I see. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of mixture we're of really special. milk and eggs. Okay. A couple eggs, a little bit of milk. You don't even have to use a measuring cup. No, you just put it in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get you a little whisk. You ever whisked before? Yes, I have yes. whisked before. All right, so we just want to break up those yolks and get the get everything incorporated. Okay. And then the last place we're going to be working is right here. We've got some just regular breadcrumbs, unseasoned. Oh. And the reason why I do that is because that allows me to add the seasoning. Okay. And you really can't go wrong with your seasoning as long as you don't go crazy with it. You don't want to do I'm tons all for of going it. crazy. Well, I mean, we've got a pre-mixed seasoning. We're gonna use the Cajun seasoning today. All right. So it might be a little bit spicy, and I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, uh. You all right with that? Oh, we, we no. Won't. <laughs> that <laughs> looks like a lot. Right, it that does. That looks like a lot, but it's really I not. I am not Creole. <laughs> it's, it, it's really not. I didn't grow up with those taste buds, no. <laughs> It looks like a lot, but it's actually, you're only gonna get a little bit on each pork chop. Is this whisked enough? That is perfect. All you can right. just throw that over there into the All right, I the feel sink. like I've done something. Yes. All right, so we're gonna create a little assembly line. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. All right, we're gonna bring our pork chops over. Uh-huh. And we'll do one at a time. And once we touch the pork chops, we don't really want to touch anything else until we wash our hands. Okay. All right, so if you want to take a pork chop, just put it both sides down on the uh, flour. And these are pretty just good put sized it both pork sides chops. Down? Yeah, just okay. press it and turn it over. Hmm. Press it. And then if you want, you is, can put it in. That's not enough? Or that's is that fine. enough? That's fine. We're just getting that moisture kind of absorbed. And then just. So that our egg will down. stick in there, yeah, and then turn it over. Okay. Oh, You're doing fantastic. Look at that. And then just lift it up and let the excess kind of drip off. All right. Ah. There you go. And then just flop it down in here. Okay. And then I'll handle Flopping. this. Yep. If you want to handle that right there. Okay. And the next one, we'll throw some seasoning on here. So when you say don't touch nothing else, what else would I be touching? Your face. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't bite your nails. All right. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> so this process will just go from start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, and we will only have room for three pork chops in here. We'll do two batches. Okay. But we can go ahead and dredge the right. other pork chops. All right, put that Process down. called dredging. Yes. So we've got our oven heating up right now to 400, and as you can hear, it's ready. Uh-huh. That's where we're gonna be finishing everything. All right. These are looking great. I am proud they of the not, process. Yeah, you're doing great. So we're, uh, we'll go ahead and get these last three going. They won't go in the frying pan, but mm -hmm. throw that one in here. Look at me with my little yeah. chef hat on. You can do this at home. <laughs> Be on the front pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tickled by that. You know that, right? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> so you can just leave that in there and then put that one in the flour. And oh, as soon as these are ready to come out, we'll put those in. The end of the dredging. These are looking good. Almost ready to come off of there. They're soaking up a lot of the oil because we didn't put a lot in there. Okay. So we'll put a little more on in the pan once we're ready for the next batch. Okay. Now what we're gonna do 
is I've got a pan over here. Uh -huh. Got aluminum foil in the pan, and then I've got a nice grate on top so that it won't sit down in its own juices and that kind of stuff. The juices will fall hmm. out and it won't be soggy. You know, sometimes okay. that batter can get soggy. Right. That's no good. All right. So let's throw that bad boy on there. That looks great. And we should be able to fit all six chops on this one pan. All right, add a little oil, because we are dry over here. Now what kind of oil is that? This is vegetable oil. Oh, okay. And you can use whatever you want. Vegetable oil is pretty bland. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's gonna keep from taking away from our flavors that we want. Right. All right. So we'll continue the process. If you want to take that one and dump it in here. Yeah. I guess bring it more. Yeah, you know what you're there. doing. I do. At least I'm looking like it. There you go. So finish the dredging. Yes. It's oh, already that's... smelling good. Oh, uh -huh. but too bad the smells can't come across. I know. <laughs> yeah. For years we've been doing cooking shows and it's just unfortunate we haven't perfected that technology. Oh. I think we tie, we uh, we gauged it right with the amount of seasoning that we mm -hmm. put in here. Yes. We're right at the end. Almost out. There we go. We'll let those finish. Turn them over. Get them on here. Okay. Get them in the oven. You want to lick your fingers? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, these are looking really good. We got one more side to brown. They'll go on the pan, they'll go in the oven. But while that is going on, please tell us about Beyond the Front Porch. When did it start? Why did you start it? We want to know All about that it. good stuff, right? Yes. Okay, so Beyond the Front Porch started in 2012. So this August will actually be our fifth year so it's a big serving one. the kids. Yes, yeah. yes, this is a huge year. Yeah. You know, it's already hard enough making it out the first year, let yes. alone five years. So um, beyond the front porch, our mission is to bring back the experience of educational field trips to our school-aged children, kindergarten through 12th grade. A lot of people think that it's, you know, just for the younger babies, but no, it's for all, uh, of, them. all of them, all of them, even the young at heart. How about that? Yeah. So I always say so that. So I qualify. Yeah, right. So I always say that the, the way that you think, of, if you're dealing with a child that thinks that they're an adult, mm -hmm. take them on a field trip and they'll revert there back to go. that child. Yeah. <laughs> right, yep. right. So um, kindergarten through 12th grade, um, on the second Saturday of every single month, we meet in the parking lot of Arbor Place Mall. Okay. We hop on a charter bus and we go to different places throughout Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. Um, some of our most popular field trips, Tennessee Aquarium is yeah, actually coming up. I would imagine that yes, would be fun. Yes, two buses. So wow. two buses, yeah, and that one sells out really, really quick. Mm -hmm. So Tennessee Aquarium, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, uh, that's a really popular trip, as well as um, Helen Tubing and Water Park down nice. in Helen. So two and a half hours in a tube going down the river. That How awesome is awesome. that? Yes. Yes, yes. So um, we're open to all um, school-age children. Uh-huh. Uh, it's $25 for the activity, transportation, and lunch. That's nothing. Believe it. Believe that. Well, that I tell you, <laughs> you can take your kids around here and drop a couple bills just, right. you know, just right. on lunch. Exactly. Exactly. So that's what makes us so special for our families mm -hmm. is that they're able to have some awesome experiences with their kids and not break the bank while doing it. Right. So, um... 
One of the biggest things about Be On The Front Porch that a lot of people absolutely love about us is that we are going to make sure that those families that, you know, may, may be struggling a little bit financially, mm -hmm. that they're not left out, right. that they still be able to go with us. Right. So what that means is that those families, if their child is on free and reduced lunch, mm -hmm. The adult pays the $25, and the kids get to go with us at no charge. Uh, so it's a buy one, okay. get one. It, well, buy one or get several because they can take up to five oh, children. Oh, wow. So Right, mm, right, right. That's, that's you awesome. Know, and that's really impactful for those families that have multiple children. Mm -hmm. And, again, they're able to not just take them to... Um, to a fun place to get out, right. but also know that it's educational right. at the same time. And a lot, of, a lot of the places that we visit, they mirror the Georgia um, educational standards. Right. Yeah, right. And I, I know research shows that children who have more experiences yes. tend to do better in school. Right, right. Not just more experiences, but also have that element of parent engagement. Yeah. That's a big piece of the puzzle. People are amazed at how many parents, I mean, but what's really amazing about that, they actually go with us yeah. on field trips. So that's why we don't have a huge need for chaperones because mm. our parents show up. Our that's parents good. go with us. Yeah. So it's a it's an awesome thing, and and that's what we've been doing over the past five years. That's great. Yeah. And we're gonna learn a little bit later about how you can help be on the front porch. Yes, we need for you yes. to know how you can help yes. be so, on the front so porch. Be ready for that. But first, we're going to take these wonderful pork chops that we have seared. We're going to get them in the oven. Those wonderful beyond the front porch chops. Beyond the chops. front porch chops, exactly. Right. Right. We're going to keep hitting that. We're going to keep hitting that. You can't help but That's hit right. that. <laughs> so we're at 400 degrees in the oven. We're going to let them cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And when we come back, we're going to start our creamy corn. We have a historic thing going on right now. Very historic. Very historic. This is the first time that we have actually Facebook lived any of our shows. <laughs> and it's because of her. Right. The Facebook Live Queen. You are always <laughs> Facebook Living. But that's part of your thing. I mean, social media, getting the word out, keeping hey. keeping in the in the in people's minds. I absolutely love it, and I always say, anybody that does not like social media, they're not doing it right. That's right. That's right. well, you're doing it right because yes. you need to teach a class. Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, what were you saying about the corn? This is, a, you're excited about. Listen, real corn. Real corn. <laughs> real corn. Not in a bag, not in a steamable bags, which is my heart. I love yeah, steamables. I do too. And not in a can. All right, so you've never shucked corn before. I am not the shucking corn kind of girl, but I'm going to do right. it today. Well, I'm going to show you one way to do it. There are okay. several ways, but this is just one. You kind of just pull apart. Pull it down like you're skinning it. It's pretty. You know? And then you want to get these little silk fibers. Mm -hmm. And I try to grab as many as I can at once. Pull it all the way down. And then just break it off at the bottom. And then you got your piece of corn. If you have any remaining silk pieces on there, you can pull those off. It's almost like trying to learn how to eat crab for the first time and yeah. you know you got to get it all out. <laughs> yeah, there's a technique involved. Yeah, once you learn what that is. Yeah, then you get faster. Yeah. You got it. Look at that! There you go. And it's pretty. Yep. Okay, now at the base, what am I doing? Just kind of break it off. Just hold it like this and snap oh. it. Okay, look at this. All right. So you are ready on your... I've done this before. Yeah. There's another way to do this where you cut the bottom off with a knife uh -huh. and then everything, it just kind of slides out. But I haven't had too much success with doing it that way. Hmm. So I just do it the old school way. All right, old school. We're also going to be using leeks. Leeks are in the onion family. Uh -huh. And it sounds like our pork chops are done. The timer's going off. Hmm. So I'm gonna check on those real quick. Okay. I'm 
gonna let them go another couple minutes. All right, so we're using leeks. They're in the onion family again. I'm just gonna take off the, the end right there and come up to about where it starts turning green. Uh -huh. We're gonna use the, the lower part, the white part. Oh. I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Okay. So we've got that right there. Do the same thing to the other one. Now there's a reason why I'm cutting down the middle and exposing the center. I'm actually exposing the uh, the pieces of the inside because what happens is this part is underground. It smells strong. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Yeah. It's not, it's not as strong as an onion. Hmm. It's more like a green onion. But anyway, so this part is underground. Sometimes you get a little bit of dirt, of dirt in there. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna run over and rinse it off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take each one of these uh, pieces or sections of leek and I'm gonna just slice them up. I think that the pork chops. Need to go right. ahead and take them out? Yeah, uh, use this right here. Right. And you can just set it right up on top of the oven. Please don't burn yourself. I only get one? We don't have any <laughs> insurance. I don't get the other one. <laughs> All right. And then just hit it. Yes, you got it. Listen, we're gonna make that work. You're a professional. We have the ability to call it whatever we want. <laughs> Whenever we want. <laughs> so I'll take that. We'll speak that professionalism into existence. That's right. So the leeks are chopped. Now, this is a part I've never done before. Okay. okay. Cream corn requires you to pull the kernels off, but you also want to retain what they call the milk, which okay. will kind of naturally come out of the corn cob as we take the uh, the kernels off. So it says <laughs> to use the dull side of the knife. I have never done it that way, but I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna use the sharp side. All right, so here we go. That does yeah, not seem to be milk. working. So I'm gonna use the sharp side. And we're just gonna take all of these kernels off. Well, it didn't take you long to decide that you wasn't going to do it the other yeah, way. I, I could see me taking a finger off doing it the other way because I was having to put too much pressure. That is uh, the number one cause of uh, cut by knife is uh, a dull knife. Oh. Because you have to push too hard. Oh. And then it slips off and you wind up cutting yourself. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to handle my three. I and thought then, you was gonna handle six. And then, <laughs> Cause I need all of my digits, you know. <laughs> I need all the fingers and I, I got a feeling this is gonna be funny. Now we talked a little bit about uh, money, about, yes. about how much it costs for a field trip. Um, but that's not the only place that you guys have to uh, get funding. You need funding from other places. You do some fundraisers. We do. We do some fundraisers in which one of our biggest fundraiser of the year is actually going to be coming up in May. So um, you participated. You as our MC for our first bowling fundraiser that we had yes. last year with the sheriff candidates. That was a awesome, awesome success. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it this year, bigger and better. But you don't have the sheriffs this year. We you? don't have the sheriffs this year. We still want to recognize our um, first responders because they're very, very important to our community. And thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You can talk, I'll cut. <laughs> so they, um, 
So this year, our fundraiser, um, we're still gonna have the bowling fundraiser because that's a good way. Beyond the Front Porch is all about families. So we wanted something that all of our kids can participate, um, you know, people in the community can participate. Uh, just a good, fun time, and bowling is, it, it, it seems to go hand in hand Great with what we do. Event. Right, right. So this year, our theme for to recognize our first responders is guns and hoses. You guns have and hoses. Be kidding me. No, that is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome, and I wish I could take credit for that theme. I can't, but um, and we're we're definitely looking forward to it. So it's going to be May six. Um, we're okay. asking for everybody to get their teams together, get their teams of six and come out and have a good time and, you know, raise some money because three categories that we had, it was the whoever raised the most money right. for be on the front porch um, for our activities. Also, whoever bowled the highest score. Oh, okay, so highest score. There. Exactly. And who doesn't like team spirit? That's right. Okay, so team spirit, and then of course we'll have an overall winner. So that's one of our um, signature fundraisers for the year that's going to take place again. And our, our sheriff now, Tim Pounds, yes. they did well in that. They did. They, they took, won team spirit. They, I remember that. They won that and overall. Okay. Yeah, no, raising the most money. Okay, yeah, yeah. He raised the most money and he got overall um, winner. So that was a great, great event last year. So we hope to make it even better this year. Awesome. That looks good. It looks like corn. <laughs> Listen, corn is good. <laughs> Very. So um, that along with our painting with Beyond the Front Porch in our anniversary month of August. Okay. So that comes up and then at the end of the year we have our end of the year uh, celebration which is always a fundraiser but just remember there's never a bad time <laughs> to write a check to Beyond the Front Porch. There you go. So if you want to give, if you want to be a part of this, if you want to help your local yes. community, you can just write a check. You don't even have, I mean, you're just doing this. That's easy. Yes, yes, write a check, come with us on a field trip. I always say it's a difference between seeing our pictures on Facebook and right. um, you know, hearing me tell stories about it than when you actually come out with us. So we invite you know, people that support Beyond the Front Porch to come out with us. And we also have what's called our vision partners. Mm -hmm. And our vision partners, they actually send a donation to us each and every month That's to great. help us with those operations or to sponsor a child on a field trip. Mm -hmm. So being a vision partner, $25 a month. That's nothing. How awesome is that? Yeah. And for a business, our business is minimum $50 a month. Mm -hmm. So completely awesome way to support Beyond the Front Porch and help some children go on field trips with us. Right. Yeah. So if you have a heart for giving, this is an opportunity for you. It is. So we've got our corn ready. We've got to take half of that, put it in a food processor with some other things. Okay. Like corn starch, some milk, sugar, salt, pepper. We're going to get that kind of processed up, and then we'll be ready to throw some bacon in the pan. Who don't like bacon? You can't go wrong. Wait a minute. Bacon. Be on the front porch bacon. Whatever you want. <laughs> we'll call it whatever you want, as long as it's bacon. As long as it ends exactly. in bacon. Exactly. Ends right. in bacon. All right, so we got our processed mixture ready to go in but first we got to add that bacon we got to ah, do the bacon okay so uh, we need four pieces to go into the pan do you want to cut that open i can yeah. oh well, have you done that before we have scissors i get you some scissors <laughs> please don't give me a knife <laughs> i can't do it with a knife so you did all of the corn but guess what i what? can do bacon yeah <laughs> I can really I, I, do bacon. I had I had a feeling that you were <laughs> I can do a professional. It. Yes, in bacon. honey. <laughs> that we will have no problem with. All right. So we're gonna fry this up. We're gonna take it out, leave the grease in, and then we're gonna put the leeks in, crumble up the bacon, put the corn in, okay. and the, the processed mixture. Uh -huh. It's gonna be good. Here, I'll just let you 
Okay. Take it on. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back here and hang out for a while. Where's my um fork? Fork? I'm Who not, needs a fork? I mean, I'm not fixing to flip this stuff with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just let it cook. We are gonna flip it. Oh, okay. We are. You know, when you in somebody else's kitchen, you go by the law of the land. Yeah. How about that? <clears throat> well, you're in charge of the bacon, so you can have a fork. I can have a fork. Awesome. He's giving me some power. I can have a fork. <laughs> you're in charge. <laughs> right, of the bacon. Because <laughs> you know, I, I heard about the cast iron the magic of the cast iron skillet, but I've never experienced ah, the so, magic so of the cast. this is the first, too. Right, right. I've never experienced the magic of the cast iron skillet. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty old cast iron, and it's been seasoned pretty well. So, so once, once the bacon really starts crisping up on the bottom, it'll start to pull away from the cast iron. Mm-hmm. The bacon's ready to flip. Looking good. Scramble bacon. <laughs> and, and the cool part is it's leaving some of that goodness in the bottom for yes. the corn. Oh my yes. goodness, this is gonna be good. It smells good. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier. Oh, I wish that you could smell this because I thought the pork chop smelled good. Yeah. Bacon just, oh, that's heaven. You can't compete with the bacon. No, you cannot compete with the bacon. Nothing can compete with bacon. So that is coming out, and I'm gonna swap with you. Uh huh. The leeks are going in. Oh, into that smell goodness. Oh, we're gonna fry those up for a couple minutes. And if you want, you can chop up the bacon to get it nice and small. Just, just chop it up. You don't have to use the fork though. <laughs> use this one; it's a little easier. And just. Get it as best you can. I believe in you. Okay, I'm gonna try to make you proud. <laughs> Ooh, that's looking good. I don't know how proud I'm making you. <laughs> I'm scraping the goodness up over here. Mm -hmm. The uh, the bacon. Got the bacon fat. So obviously this is a very healthy dish. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's my type of healthy dish. <laughs> the pork chops are relatively healthy. They're not fried. They're baked. So we can kind of splurge. <laughs> we can splurge on the, uh, the side dish. I'm going to trade this out for a wooden spoon. Uh -huh. I heard you tell me to skip the fork <laughs> using a fork, but you know. Right, you do whatever works for right. you. Right. It's a technique. And remember that in the kitchen. Yes. Do whatever works for whatever you. Whatever works for you. All right, the uh, the leeks are looking great over here. Uh -huh. I'm going to add our processed corn. Uh-huh. Here we go. Shake it out. All right, now I'm also going to add the rest of our uh, corn kernels. And then when you're done with your, your bacon, we'll add it too. Whenever you want me to be done with the bacon, <laughs> we can add that. This is almost looking like cream corn. Or That looks great. Yep. You wanna add that in? There we go, I'll take care of it. We'll throw that in. Last ingredient, stir that in. We're gonna get this up to a simmer and it can go for three minutes or a little bit longer depending on uh, how thick you want it. Okay. So we'll get this corn ready. We're gonna dish it up. 
we're going to get us a pork chop. <laughs> a beyond the front pork chop. Beyond the front pork chop. And then we're going to taste it and see how we do it. I can't, can't wait. I can't either. I'm all right. <laughs> This is the best part of the show. It's good stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we've got our pork chops, beyond the front pork chops. Beyond I remember the front, say the that. whole name. Let's say <laughs> it. We've got our cream corn that I have never made before, but it looks looks good and it, it smells good. So give you a little portion there. Wow. Dish myself up a little portion. Now if you want to thicken this up, you can use more cornstarch. Ours is a little bit runny, but once it cools down, it's gonna get a little more, you know concealed or congealed or whatever they call that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, you want to go for the pork chop first? Are, are we going for the pork yeah, chop first? Yeah, let's do it. Yes. We'll do a little taste test. Oh my gosh, my mouth me. is watering. I know, mine is too. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. I know. <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't rush. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I struggle, I used to struggle finding ways to bake meat. Because mm -hmm. in the winter, you know, you don't necessarily want to use a grill. Right. This is a great way to cook inside using your oven. Amazing. And your seasonings. The seasoning is great. Right. You know, I was a little nervous yeah. seeing the... Thought it was going to be too spicy. Yes. Too much yes. seasoning. But no. it's really, it's... It's not subtle, but it's not overwhelming. Either. Right, right. All right, let's do this corn. Make sure I get some of the leaves I think you put in the bacon. More bacon on your plate than uh, <laughs> that was I'm on just, purpose. I'm just saying. That was on purpose. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is good. Very. Mm. Oh my God. The bacon. This might be the best meal we've made on this show. It, so it far. is the best meal. <laughs> Man. I'm going to say that anyway. We did. <laughs> yeah, because it's you and because it's Beyond the Front Porch Ops. Right. And we've learned all about Beyond the Front Porch today. Tell us how we can find out more about your organization. Oh, you can definitely find us on the web at beyondthefrontporch.org. Okay, so don't forget the .org, beyondthefrontporch.org. We're also he got a heavy presence on social Facebook. Social media, yes. yes. social media on Twitter. So definitely just key in Beyond the Front Porch again, and you will be able to find us. And if you want to send an email, info, I-N-F-O, at beyondthefrontporch.org, and um, out and about. Yeah. You, all you got to do is go to anything with the chamber. Anything? She's there. Yes. She's, she's at everything. So out right. and out, involved with the community, doing a great job. I've had a great time today cooking with you. You did oh. awesome. Yes, you did with my help. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Oh, I'm gonna wonderful job. I'm, I'm going to have to have you back on because you're good luck. We made a great oh, meal. Oh, this is an awesome meal. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Servings Kitchen with a Cause. And now we get to eat for real. Yes. Let's do this. Too bad you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Right.